hello friends uh, today we will see another example of c programming pattern printing so this question is called floyd's triangle actually floyd's triangle the question is not like this in floyd's triangle they will simply ask you to print up to uh, in this question like up to 5 rows and it will always be in increasing order for example if you print 1 it will be 2 3 in the next row 4 5 6 in the next row so it will keep on increasing and it will print the number of rows the user gives but i have just extended this question a little bit uh, i have just taken this last row as a mirror line and from the next row onwards it will take the mirror image of the previous lines for example here it is 456 so exactly at the same distance here also there will be 456 so after 15 it will again start from 7 8 9 10 uh, exactly the replica of this line so this line will be the replica of this line so how to solve this question now before starting to go into the solution i would like you to pause this video for two minutes and try this question on your own uh, because if you can figure out the logic of this question uh, you can easily solve other questions related to this so try it out and uh, let's now discuss the solution so Floyd's triangle we know that we have to print a triangle and then uh, in this question we also have to print an inverted triangle so what we will do is first of all as we know in our programs always the i loop it takes care of the number of rows okay that means total number of rows which are there and j loop it will take care of the number of elements to print in each row so in this question the i loop obviously it will be 2 into n minus 1 or 2 into number of rows minus 1 because if the number of rows are 1 2 3 4 5 for example in this question the input user gives is 5 that means number of rows uh, the user types is 5 so the total number of actual rows are actually 9 so it is 2 into rows minus 1 so i loop will take care of the number of rows and it will go vertically downwards j loop will always take care of the number of columns and it will go horizontally so it will decide how many elements to print in one particular row so now we will start writing the program and trace out the uh, logic accordingly hash include stdio dot h Now we will declare the variables. Now, why I have taken the variable k and number as equal to one, we will see shortly. So now what we will do is we will take input from the user and we will accept and store it in a variable. So we have taken the input and stored it in the rows variable. Now what we will do is we will start the i loop which will take care of the total number of rows. Meanwhile if you have done this program just uh, uh, also look at this logic uh, because there will be certain things I will be telling you. So. we are done with the i loop it goes from 1 to 2 into number of rows minus 1 so that is simple now we'll start the j loop
what we are doing in the jail loop is basically we have taken this variable number and we have initialized it to 1 so because we need to print it in the increasing order we have taken this variable and simply what we are doing is j is equal to 1 j is less than equal to k plus plus j so what we will do is for each value of j we will keep on printing the number but how to tell that how many elements you have to print in each row so that depends on actually uh, uh, what will happen is j is less than equal to k which means we have initialized k to 1 so uh, it will uh, also synchronize with i loop which means first time the value of i will be 1 so first time the value of k is also 1 now what will happen is here we see that till here it always goes in increasing order so in this there are two elements in this there are three elements in this there are four elements but after the fifth line there are four elements three elements two elements so how to do that that is what we have done using this variable k we have initialized this variable k as one now it will keep on increasing up till and unless it meets that mirror line after meeting that mirror line it will keep on decreasing so that we print start printing lesser number of elements or decreasing in start printing one element less in the following rows so that is why we have written j is less than equal to k we will put the condition for k now and this number is uh, understood because we always need to print the number in increasing order but then after 15 it has to come back to 7 so how to do that we will see now so this is the j loop that closes now before closing the i loop we will do certain operations so we will write if i is greater than equal to rows number will be equal to number divided by 2 minus 1 ok next if i is less than rows we will do k plus plus else we will do k minus minus and at the end we will do printf backslash n to take it to the next line so we will close the i loop at the end we will write return 0 and we will close the main so now we will discuss what we have done here so after the j loop till the j loop we will increment the number now the number has to increment till 15 and after that it has to decrement so for that we have written if i is greater than or equal to uh, rows so what will happen is first of all if j is less than or equal to k so uh, before that we'll discuss the k so what we have written for the k is if i is less than rows it will be k plus plus else k minus minus which means for first time the value of i will be 1 so here it will be k plus plus so it will become 2 so till the fourth line obviously i will be less than the number of rows so again here also it will be k plus plus when it will come to this line okay instead of doing k plus plus at this line it will do k minus minus so by the time here the value of k will be 5 after this line when it encounters this line the value of k will automatically become 4 so it will start printing 4 elements after that 3 elements after that 2 elements and so on now the logic with number is the number is incrementing till here so uh, what will happen is if i is greater than or equal to the rows for example if the value of i is greater than or equal to rows suppose the value of i is 6 so it is greater than the number of rows now so till the value of i is less than or equal to the number of rows number will simply increment by 1 but then the point where it gets to line number 6 or the value of i is greater than the number of rows number will be equal to number divided by 2 minus 1 so as an example 
at this position the value of number will be 15 but then when the cursor is here after this the cursor will automatically come here so the value of this thing will obviously be 16 by the time we encounter this line the value of number will be 16 so what will happen is if i is greater than equal to rows it will check yes which is true number will be equal to number divided by 2 minus 1 which is 16 divided by 2 8 minus 1 which is 7 so what will happen is 7 will be printed here now what will happen is uh, once it the number becomes 7 it will simply do plus plus number and it will print this line again after 10 when it comes to this position the value of number will be 11 so what will happen is again the next time it will be number divided by 2 minus 1 11 divided by 2 which is 5 minus 1 which is 4 so it will again start from 4 and it will print 4 5 6 so that is how our program will be uh, uh, working and the pattern will be printed just a simple dry run I will I would like to say uh, you can do the dry run yourself all we need to understand is what is happening after this line the rest is all simple so for example we will take any so at this point we know that the value of i will be 5 at this point the value of i will be 6 i will be 7 i will be 8 and i will be 9 so first of all we need to print it till 5 in, in increasing order so we have written j is less than equal to k and we are incrementing k each time if i is less than rows and suppose if i becomes greater than or equal to rows if the value of i so obviously when when do we check this condition we check this condition uh, before incrementing the i loop so for example suppose the value of n is the user has typed the value of n as 5 so now what will happen is i will be initialized to 1 and it will go up to 2 into rows minus 1 so it will go 1 2 9 and j it will be initialized to 1 j it will go from 1 to k and what is k now k is 1 so first time it will print only one element and what is that element that is number which is 1 so it will print 1 what will happen is again it will do plus plus j which will be 2 is 2 less than equal to k k is 1 and number is also 1 so this condition becomes false so it will come out of the j loop and it will check if i is greater than equal to rows which is false because i is 1 now so what will it do is next it will check if i is less than rows so which is true now so it will do k plus plus which is true now it will uh, skip this else part it will go to printf slash n and it will bring the cursor to the next line after this, so the i loop closes here so from here it will go back to the i loop now again what will it will increment the i so i will become 2 now which is the second line so now j will again start from 1 and it will go up till k current value of k is 2 so it will go up to 2 so first the j value will be 1 so it will print percentage d number so what is the number now but then again we have incremented the number so the current value of number is 2 so we will keep printing this thing in increasing order now what will happen if the value of i is 5 ok let us suppose the value of i is 4 now when the value of i will be 4 it will obviously be less than 2 into rows minus 1 it will get inside then what will happen is for i equal to 4 j will start from 1 to k at that time what will happen is k the value will also be equal to 4 so it will go from 1 2 3 4 so first time when it will be 1 it will print number and uh, so it will print number which will be 7 and then it will do plus plus number so number it will increment now it will keep on doing it up till 10 ok and then when, when the value of i becomes 5 before that it will check this condition whether to increment k or decrement k so when the value of i is 4 currently if i is greater than or equal to rows which is false if i is less than rows which is true again so it will do k plus plus so k will be 5 so at this point of time k will be 5 again now when i becomes 6 this condition will be true 
so instead of doing k plus plus it will do k minus minus so k which was 5 will become 4 now and then ac accordingly it will print 4 elements then it will print 3 elements and then it will print 2 elements and it will print 1 element and since we are doing number equal to number divided by 2 minus 1 after 15 here it will be 16 so it will start from 7 then 11 11 divided by 2 minus 1 is 4 so it will start from 4 again 7 divided by 2 minus 1 is 2 so it will start from 2 so that is it guys and you can print this program in this manner i hope you understood this logic maybe you have a different logic yeah it's completely fine and uh, you should try out with different logics this is not the only logic for this question uh, if you have any doubts you can post your comments uh, and i'll try to clear and answer them okay guys so thanks for watching and have a good day